Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. My daughter Zaya and I are on a journey this year to explore new places, meet new people, and discover new experiences around the country and even around the world. We hope to learn some new things, get out of our comfort zone, and of course, have fun. So join us on Our Big Adventure! This time our big adventure is Camping, camping out, out in, in a, a yurt. yurt. So it's been a while since we released the first episode of the series and unfortunately due to the virus a lot of our plans for this year did get cancelled. We've been taking necessary precautions and we've been in quarantine mode for quite a while so we were really starting to get stir crazy in the house. During lockdown we've been spending a lot of time looking at screens whether it be working from a computer, taking online classes, or just being on our phones. But luckily our camping reservations did not get cancelled due to the fact that this is the perfect thing to do if you're trying to practice social distancing. So we packed up our bags and decided to still move forward with taking our planned camping trip to Elgin, Texas to the Green Acres campsite. Green Acres is a boutique glamping retreat just 24 miles east of Austin, Texas. It encompasses 25 beautiful acres and has eco lodging to connect guests with nature as well as amenities to take the stress out of traditional camping. I've gone camping a couple times but never at a place like this staying in a yurt for a glamping experience and Zaya has never gone camping so I thought this would be the perfect place to have a peaceful camping experience and take a break from being locked up in the house. Okay, we have just arrived to the campsite. There's this barn. Where are we, Zaya? in Elgin, Texas at Green Acre Campsite, the Green Acre Campsite, whatever you want to call it. There are yurts and there are airstreams and there is a barn. Other than these few little rough structures, it is just a forest of trees and grass and dirt and the great outdoors. So it's glamping because obviously we have nice like amenities. We have a full bed and refrigerator and there's a whole refrigerator over there. But it is camping because we are really out here in the great outdoors for the most part. Zaya says that she's excited. Zaya says she's hungry. Luckily, we came prepared. There is a kitchen over here. A kitchen, a rough kitchen, an outdoor kitchen. There's our yurt, and just a few steps away, we have now arrived at our lovely kitchen. This is the stove. They give you pots and pans and utensils. No glass on these windows. Open air, big sink. They give you dishes and everything. Some cupboards over here with more stuff. And they do have a regular fridge though. This is why it's glamping, because this is the glam part of camping. So we did bring um, our own groceries, just like some basic things, eggs, Got some cookies, some water. We got some stuff to feed the donkeys because there are some animals here. And biscuits, bacon, we're gonna make breakfast in the morning. My mom, of course, got some wine for herself and we do have stuff to make s'mores on the campfire. You can't go camping without doing s'mores. And then we got a whole, this is a whole bag of stuff to make burgers. So we are gonna have burgers for dinner.
so they have a spot over here to go and get your own firewood to start your own little campfire we're gonna gather up some firewood before it gets dark it's already late afternoon now so we want to make sure that we're set to go because I'm sure it's gonna get pretty dark they have like little string lights out here, but we don't want to be trekking around if it gets pitch black. And over here by the firewood, they have some aminos. I saw some little donkeys when we drove up. They also said that they had alpacas and chickens, but I don't see alpacas or chickens. But this is where you get your firewood to build your own fire. Everything is just like do it yourself. There's no people here who work here or anything. You literally just pull up and start using the stuff, start camping. I guess you can even chop up your own wood if you want to. So this is why we brought carrots because they said on their website you could bring baby carrots and feed them. You see the donkeys? Little ones. Are they little baby donkeys or are they just little anyway? I'm not sure. And I don't see any alpacas. Come here. You want something? You want something to eat? Oh, so cute. You waiting? It's coming. One second. Wow, so beautiful. He's waiting for you to bring him a snack. Look at him. Look at him. He's hungry. Oh, 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 I know, I know, I know. But look, I'm going to hold it out like this. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, the other one I want some too. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> the way they do their lips. Oh. Come on, Grammy. There, they get their little lips. Here, you do it. It's a little baffled. Mm, yummy. You want to try, Zaya? Come try. Ooh, they smack it. <laughs> Look, they're it's really good. soft and nice. You can do it, Zaya. I it's want you to try new, try new things. Try. You can scratch their heads like this. Another one? You don't want to try? Okay. Bye for now. What do you want me to do? Pick a many color ball, how many balls you can pick, and you win these cups. Oh, yay. Well, we gotta cook dinner now and get the firewood. When the sun starts to set, we'll gather around the campfire and tell some stories. I hmm. hope you guys know that um, Chef Tony is not the most outdoorsy. Mm -mm. She's probably the least outdoorsy person I know, to be quite honest. I just don't like stuff that lives outdoors. I told mom can't that, avoid it. you know, you would spend the night here and then I would come and spend the second night by myself just to get away and mom goes, yeah, right. That's why I kept uh, asking you, you gonna come, you, yeah. No, I can't, I didn't really see that happening. And I said, well, maybe me and I barely see that happening, honestly. <laughs> you do not like the outdoors, but I do. People might think I'm a little prissy little girly girl. Cause you know, I know I like makeup and fashion and beauty and all those things. And I come off as maybe a girly girl, but honestly I am a tomboy at heart. I don't have a lot of experience because I just don't really get a chance to like do stuff like this all the time. Cause I don't really have people around me who like to do this type of stuff to like do it with. And it's, can be kind of hard to do it with a little one, but now Zaya's getting older and she's getting old enough to do some more adventurous stuff, which is exactly why we are here today. Look, as a kid, I was all out in the outdoors, catching lizards, catching bugs, doing all kinds of stuff. I've never been scared of the outdoors. So don't, don't play me. Don't judge a book by its cover. Okay. I've been camping before. This is Zaya's first time though, but she's reacting well so far. I thought she would be a little bit more 
prissy about it. She's a prissy little Aries. <laughs> I'm trying to raise her to not be afraid of animals, not be afraid of the outdoors, not be afraid to go on adventures. Cause I, you know, me personally, I really don't like when people are like, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't want to, but I don't, uh. it's like, it's not fun. We can't do anything cause you don't want to do it cause you're scared of everything. So I'm trying to raise Zaya to not be like that. I said in general, people who are always like, oh, but I don't, but I just, uh, 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 and they don't want to ever do anything or participate in anything because they're scared or I don't want to get wet, I don't want to get dirty. Be brave and courageous. Are you brave, Zaya, or a scared cat? Brave. Say, I'm brave. brave. Say, I'm brave. brave. <laughs> you're not scared to be outside, are you? No? You're not scared of camping? No. No reason to be scared. So you need to light the stove. And I used to do this in the kitchen. You open up the propane, I think, and then you turn it on here, but then you have to. I don't know how to do it. Cook something, she said. It'll be fun. So we did see another couple who's camping out here, but other than them and us, there's nobody out here. There's nobody like who works here to tell you how to do stuff. So, oop, lights just turned on. We are out here having to figure stuff out ourselves. Ain't no uh, front desk or concierge. Will we ever figure out how to turn on the stove? I need those Find out fries. next time. Oh, okay, yeah, I didn't do that. I smell it, I smell the gas now. Hold on a sec. Oh, these matches. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, we had to FaceTime the campsite person. He had to tell us which knob to turn on to get the gas flowing. And we finally got it lit. It's lit. Okay, so we about to fry up some french fries and cast down our skillet on a rustic gas, rustic, I guess, gas stove. We got our hamburger patties over here. Got cheese for me, but not for you. Oops. You wanna go see the donkeys again? The donkey ate the whole thing. <laughs> you did? Mm -hmm. That was funny. They're gonna think that we're gonna feed them and we don't have any more snacks to give them. Hmm. Are you gonna feed them? Maybe the donkeys have some of this. You're gonna give them your bread? Yeah. You're gonna stick your hand out and feed them? No, actually you can do it. <laughs> I want you to do it. Yeah. You can do it. I'm not doing it. I already did it, but you never did it. Come on, let's go try. We came back to see you, but we don't have any more carrots. But Zaya gave you a little piece of her bread in your bucket. There it is, you see it? Zaya wanted to share her bread with you. Sorry, that's all we have. You wanna pet him? You can pet him. They're too soft. They're soft. Look. Ooh, scratch, 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 scratch. <laughs> truffle oil. This is camping in style. Drizzle. Who ever heard of making truffle fries on a campsite? Okay, hot body. Drizzle, sprinkle with a little parmesan and parsley, toss around. That's why it's glamping. Toss. toss. Chef Raven, how's your food coming? Mm, I may or may not have dropped my bun on the, the campsite floor. Mm -mm -mm. Coming along, you, Chef Tony, how's your burger coming that you had to take off your sandwich after you already started eating it and put it back on the grill because it wasn't fully cooked? That was a little too rare for me. It was still running. We're so. having trouble getting the getting the flames to be powerful enough to cook the food thoroughly. The fries are a little. 
a little rare. Buns are a little rare. Burgers are a little rare. But we gonna get it together eventually. Think these are ready now? A little bit, a little bit more. Figured it out. Got a nice hot patty. I toasted my bun after a while. Got all my toppings. Lettuce, tomato. Secret sauce. No onion. Gourmet campfire meal served no with some tomato. sweet tea. And no tomato. You don't like tomatoes either? Mm. What do you like, Zaya? Strawberry. Zaya's apple. been nibbling on stuff here and there because she don't even like hamburgers. I like apple and strawberry. Yeah, you like fruit. And what else? Chicken nugget mm. and bread. And bread. So you don't want a bite? Okay, we got more snacks and we got s'mores and stuff. Yummy. Oh. Come see this. Look, it's a hammock. Go like this. It's been a while since I. Ooh. Hey, you can sleep in here. Do we sleep in here? Nah. Push me a little bit. Nah. And it's nice and relaxing. Look. Don't push me too hard. <laughs> no, don't push me anymore. Don't Watch push me out. Anymore. You want to get in there with mommy? Want me to put you in there? I'll hold you. Okay. Oh, my poor baby. There we go. Ooh. Can you bring my baby doll in here? Oh, Lord. <laughs> Have mercy, the baby doll. Gotta get in the hammock. I was like a real crib. A crib? Like a real crib? Night, 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 swing, swing. There's fireflies out here. They're kind of hard to spot because there's not that many of them, but every once in a while you'll see a little flash of light out over there in the trees. Did you see one, Zaya? Firefly. You're calling for them? I don't know if they can hear right you. Right there! Oh, did you see some? I see one. I see oh. them. Oh, there's dozens of them, look. Oh, oh, oh! I don't know if the camera can see it though. You saw one? See some more. Look, look, look. Fire, Are you excited fire, about seeing fireflies fire, fire, for the fire, first time? Fire, fire. You ready to roast some marshmallows on the open flames? s'mores you can eat it by itself well zaya says she wants to make an actual Push, pull s'more. it out so oh there it goes there we go oh yummy yummy good i yeah. thought you just wanted the roasted marshmallow because last time when we made s'mores you didn't really seem to like the whole shebang is it good wow that's a real s'more at a real campsite not like those backyard s'mores you made before does it taste better I don't even like s'mores, but yours looks really yummy. Mm -hmm. Don't wishes. drop it. Hold both hands. Wow. Look, 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 look behind you! What? Look, fireflies, look behind you. Is it so peaceful and relaxing out here? What do you hear? Cricket. There's somewhere in the woods. Listen to the sounds of the crickets.
Okay, just kidding. We forgot we need to use the potty before we tuck in for the night. Zip that up so the bugs don't get inside. I'm gonna hold your hand and I'm gonna show you where the potty is. Carefully down the steps. And we gotta go over here to the little bathroom station, which is over yonder where the lights are. We have a little separate little outhouse situation. So we can go potty. I think they have a whole shower and everything, but we ain't gonna do all that. <laughs> we can skip a bath for one night. Ta-da, here we are. Got your sink. How cute. Doop, see? Perfect. That's why it's called glamping. How many times am I gonna say that in this video? It's a regular potty, so go ahead, use potty. These are some of the other places that you could stay, by the way. They have these Airstreams, metal, almost van looking things. And they have these little outdoor setups. Okay, I'm just showing the property. All right, back to the yurt for good for the night. <laughs> Grammy is scared of what might be lurking in the grass. Okay, now it's time to change into our PJs. Brought Zaya's footy pajamas. Get cozy, maybe play a card game or two until it's time for bed. And then we'll wake up in the morning and cook breakfast. You got your jammies on, boo boo? Are you excited to sleep inside of the yurt? I would like to say for the record that I have not even taken my phone out of my bag this whole entire time. It's just been in here. This has been a completely <laughs> unplugged trip for me so far. Face. I said, oh, would you like to stay here for a whole week? She was like... You want to stay here for a whole week? How many days should we stay here? Three days? You'll do three days here? The instructions? What game is this? Jack. Blackjack. Slapjack. Slapjack. Do you know how to play? Uh huh. <gasps> you got it. <laughs> Tiny Taylor. Tuffy John. Zany Zach. Smart Samuel. Cool Cassie. Sporty Sophia. Slapjack. Oh, you got it before me. <laughs> Is your baby ready for bed? Who wrapped her up like that? Because she's sick. What's wrong with her? She needs to take some rest because she has coughs and sneezes. Oh. No, no. I'm going to sleep. Grandma <laughs> made some campfire coffee. <laughs> You gonna go make breakfast? Yeah. Bacon, eggs, hopefully some biscuits. Pancakes? Pancakes? I didn't bring, uh, no, if I had sense, I would've brought pancakes. Yeah, pancakes would actually be better for the equipment we have. We don't really actually have the proper equipment to make the biscuits that we were trying to make because there's not an oven. So pancakes would've actually been a better idea, but we didn't know what type of kitchen it was. Bacon, butter, eggs, strawberries, jam. We can make something out of this. These biscuits are supposed to be put in a 425 oven. There is an oven oven, and there's also something called a Dutch oven. And in the cowboy day. <laughs> what you know about the cowboy days? I went to a dude ranch and they cooked biscuits on an open fire. And the way they did it was they had something similar to this, put it in the fire. Ooh, open that up the, again. I just washed it. It's oh. just chips. Because <laughs> there was some bugs in some of the, the pots. Out. Put the top on and that creates like an oven environment. So. With this little weak fire, it's gonna take a while no, to get to 425. No, 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 no. Going to the outside. Oh, you're gonna right. put it on the grill? Zaya has to get her baby baby ready for the day. What's the baby's name today? Sarah. Sarah. We went back to Sarah. Oh, good morning, donkeys. Let's see about making these biscuits on the grill in the Dutch oven. 
so if you notice it has a temperature gauge on there so you wait till it gets to 400 i'm gonna take it out for now and i'm gonna let the oven oven get up to temperature see like i said there was some buzz in some of the pots Check your pot before you start cooking unless you want some extra protein. The grill is now at 610 degrees, so it might need to turn it down a little bit. All I did was put the butter in there so it could melt. While we wait for the biscuits to cook, maybe I can throw a dart. Uh, oh, I actually got it on the board, surprisingly. Ooh. Let me try. Uh. Okay, I'll try your method. Have your finger, oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> uh, this was your closest shot right here. The one I got stuck in those. Okay, wall. I got it now. I got it now. You need to have your hand. When you let go, your finger should point where you want it to go. How do I know when I'm letting go? What? <laughs> okay. Oh, <that's> <laughs> All right. I got a, one more method. Like when the people take their arrows out of their thing, they're like. That doesn't, no. I'm gonna hold it to the end. You're, you're, you're slanging it. Like you're not throw. look how you're throwing it. What? See, look, look, watch my hand. It's a throw and a point. A throw and a point. <laughs> okay, never mind. Are you gonna feed the donkeys? You need to do it. Yep. We already did it. Come on, let's go. Here they come. She said, ooh, some snacks. They bringing me some snacks. All you have to do, pull your hand out so you get their little lips. See? They don't even really have teeth. They just have blocks. For the record, I know donkeys have teeth. I'm just trying to hype side up. Flat, flat, flat. Okay. Here, let's Put try another one. your hand on top of my hand, flat. Good job! <laughs> what? Oh! I thought you were happy. What's the matter? Did we scare you when we started screaming? You were looking really, she was, excited. she was getting excited and then she started crying. You did a good job, Zaya, you did it. What was the problem? Okay, so the weak little stove wasn't doing it for us. We're gonna put the bacon on the grill. You ever had grilled bacon? So next to the biscuits. Over here they have, I think this is called cornhole. Another yurt over there. A stage, another fire pit, hammocks. I think they do weddings here. Live performances maybe. Oh, you got it on your first try. I don't know if the camera caught that. That was pretty good. Oh, almost, try again. Such a calm, peaceful vibe. Birds chirping, chickens clucking, donkeys chewing. Did you get it? Got it! We've got our pot preheating. <laughs> Since it takes so long to heat up with some butter in it, it makes some scrambled eggs. Some good old campfire eggs. You're supposed to have a nice slow and low heat for eggs anyway, so our little weak stove might work in our favor for this. Okay, never fear. I did find somewhat of a spatula, at least. Because that fork was scraping the pot, and I didn't like that. So we got it going. Nice, soft, scrambled, fluffy eggs. Look at that. Gordon Ramsay would be proud.
bacon came out good. Eggs came out good. Mom uh, made my, the fries. Uh, I had eaten all the bacon. I gotta make more bacon. Uh, that's the only bacon left. Breakfast is served. We got our eggs, sweet tea. We got our grilled bacon. <laughs> Forgot this plate was on the grill directly. We got a uh, fried egg from my mom with a very hot plate. Our Nothing. What are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. What? We got our uh, pancake biscuits, our grilled pan fried pancake biscuits. It's a Scott family specialty delicacy. You may not have heard of it. It's okay. Butter and jam to top it with, and a side of strawberries. Ba, 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 what ba, 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 I didn't know this plate was hot. Oh. Good or not? It's, it's good, but you have to prepare yourself for the crunchy texture. <laughs> I think it's a woodpecker on the tree over there. Oh man, it flew away. Come back this way. It was making a weird bird call that I never heard and then I saw it, so I had the little red head. Man, big. yeah, and it was big. It was right here on this tree, closest to us. Was this a fun trip? A fun adventure? What was your favorite part? Making the s'mores, and what else did you like? Um, did you like sleeping in here last night? Was it cozy and comfortable? It was? Well, which one do we stay in? Which tub do we stay in? It's called a yurt. Would you like to stay in a yurt again one day? So, what did we learn? I learned that it's super beneficial to schedule out some time to get away from your screens and spend some time in nature. Just unplug, relax, and be able to return home feeling refreshed. It's really easy to get wrapped up in technology and social media, but it's really nice to take a break from all of that. And I think Zaya learned that it's cool to be brave, go outside, and not be afraid of nature. Of course, it's good to be cautious, but there's no reason to fear the outdoors altogether. I really hope that Zaya grows up to be courageous and adventurous and interested in trying new things. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for our next big adventure. You never know where we might end up next.